Give up giving or give it all you've got. And I say you've only got the one life. So there's nothing really stopping you from giving it all you've got. And here's your chance to mold your future, to make a difference, to shape it. You're still at that stage. Mind you, I'm a believer that it's never too late to begin. But you're at a fantastic stage in your life to make that significant difference. Because at the end of the day, you're always going to come back to your GCS, which is your foundation stage, really. And you do need this and this. You need that. You don't need me to tell you that. So I'm sure all of you in here, you're going to do great. And I'm sure you're not one of those who is going to give up. You're not going to give in. And you're going to give it all you've got. I'm sure, right? Yeah? Give it all you've got. Give it everything, basically. And to do that, you do really, really need to prepare. Because one of the things I find helps is that if you know how long the journey is going to take you, if you know what it's going to entail, if you know or spoken to somebody who's been that road before, I think it's sort of easier because what that does to you is you're able to prepare. And preparation involves mental preparation. You're able to prepare your mind, you're able to prepare yourself, and basically ready for the journey. Because otherwise what will happen is you get halfway or a third way down the line and feel, I'm not doing this anymore, it's too hard, it's too difficult. But if you're going to give something all you've got, it's definitely going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Because all you've got means going beyond yourself, going farther until you've got nothing left. Giving it all you've got. Nothing but your absolute best. So I say be prepared. Be prepared because the best men are not those who have waited for chances, but those who have taken them. Besiege the chance, conquer the chance, and make the chance to serve them. I love this. Have you ever found or discovered that people who work hard, they just get lucky and lucky all the time? <laughs> They're the lucky ones. You're the lucky ones. So if you're work, you're prepared, you're planned, and you give it everything you've got. You're lucky all the time. You're one of the best. You're just lucky. You just keep, keep being lucky all the time. So prepare. What does this mean? I say starting point is you need to have a revision timetable. If you don't have one already, I'm sure you do. But if you don't, it's crucial. Because part of your preparation and planning is to have that timetable in place that you can work towards. Because at the end of the day, if you don't split your time in a way that you can manage it and you know exactly what you're doing for time, you're planning to fail, basically. And I mean, they said preparation is a, is a key to success. But also, if you don't plan to fail, if, if, if you don't uh, uh, plan ahead, uh, uh, then what you are asking for, really, is to stumble. I like one of the things that uh, I think my daughter would, would, would attest to, or she probably says that, that, if you start your day and you haven't quite prepared for it, what happens is you're just going to stumble along, right? You will stumble along and make it up as you go along. And what then happens is you get to the end of the day, you haven't achieved much. So it's crucial that you plan your time. Part of your mental preparation is to be aware that when you're doing this, it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, there are going to be days you're going to be frustrated and you feel I don't want to do this anymore. But you know what? Because you're the lucky ones and you're the ones who are going to get lucky, you won't give up. Okay? So if you know that's going to be hard, if you know there'll be days that you feel frustrated, you feel tired, you feel I don't have a life, I want out, you're on the right track because the best men who conquer chances and taking advantage, that's what they've had to go through. Okay? So it's fine. You feel uncomfortable. But you need to keep going. You need to find that way to be going. Now, what I'm trying to do is to, to get you thinking, if you haven't already, that mind frame. Because that's the starting point. It begins in your mind. It begins in the mind. So you need to know. Uh, I, I believe that. So you need to go further than you think you can. Because often, sometimes you think, oh, I haven't got anything left. But you've still got that bit of time, perhaps to spend uh, 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 time on the computer, on the internet, or read that book. I say, if you follow your timetable religiously and go beyond yourself, you, you are in for a swell time. I always um, suggest that, oh, I like this. So the, the first thing any man has to know is how to handle himself. So training, basically, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. I'm sure you've heard that before. So you do need to get yourself in that place, in that, in that mindset. Um, all our dreams can come true if you, we have the courage to pursue them. All of them can come true. true. And I love this. If plan A doesn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters in them. So in other words, you've got to be flexible. Okay? You need to know what works for you. By now, you should know what works for you. Flashcards, reading, waking up early, waking up late, doing things in the middle. You need to know what works for you. And don't be discouraged. Because at the end of the day, what happens is, 
Um, it's all part of the deal. I love one of the, uh, one of uh, a slides coming up there. What Thomas Edison? So anyone knows who Thomas Edison is? Mm -hmm. Thomas Edison. Who is he? Libel. Yeah, Libel. Libel. Okay, fantastic. He says the quote from I have uh, someone made of him. I haven't failed before I discovered the, the libel. I just discovered there are 10,000 ways not to do it. Okay? I just discovered. It took me a while. Okay? And that's a fantastic attitude to have. So once you have your plan in place or your timetable, when you begin to work towards it, if it looks like it's not working, it's fine. It's okay. You continue to tweak it until you get the perfect. Although at this stage, I know you've got about 16 weeks to where you're going. So, but you need to review and keep tweaking until you find the one that, that works for you because we're all individuals. But at the end of the day, though, your focus has got to be your target.